Meshan, inducted by Sadarshan Sate. Mr. Sate has had leadership roles in numerous Indian organizations and activities, including serving as chairman of the Federation of India Community Associations, the FICA. And we are humbled by your contributions. Thank you. Let's give them a big hand. It is my high honor and distinct privilege to stand here today to introduce Ramesh Shah, my friend, to the International Hall of Flame in Cleveland. Mahatma Gandhi once said, if you want to find God, you must lose yourself in the service of others. Ramesh Bhai, or Brother Ramesh, as he is affectionately called, has been living this adage through the work of medical yatra or medical pilgrimage. Millions of our fellow human beings are born and die without ever seeing a doctor. Even today, good and competent medical care is a province of the haves. Ramesh Bhai, by taking medical yatra to rural parts of India, has worked to redress this imbalance. Starting in the year 2001, working with his illustrious wife, Jaya Ben Shah, Ramesh Bhai envisioned this project and have taken FICA and American Association of Asian Indian Physicians 10,000 miles away to the streets of rural India, helping six to 8,000 people every year. Today, Medical Yatra has a early cancer detection mobile van that goes from village to village and provides this service. Because as we know, early detection is the best detection. In the history of Cleveland International Hall of Fame, Mr. Ramesh Shah enjoys a unique distinction. He will be the part of the first ever husband and wife team to be part of the Cleveland International Hall of Fame inductions. So with pride and joy of the Indian American community of Northeast Ohio, I hereby induct Mr. Ramesh Shah into the Cleveland International Hall of Fame. Thank you very much for bestowing this honor to me at Cleveland International Hall of Fame. But to be very honest with you, this honor belongs to a lot of people that I'm going to mention. The physicians of the ethno community and the United States will come in the medical area. About 300 physicians and volunteers. About 300 financial supporters. 30 Rotary Clubs in India and 10 Rotary Clubs in the United States and Canada. And my family, especially Saar family, with four grandchildren, who stop and and leave food to stand on donation letters. And then in Lady Hanson, who maintain our website, Medical Yatra. Growing up in a small town of 10,000 people, by the way, is not on the map. 
my greatest ambition was to see the Bollywood movies in a diamond city sure 20 miles away. So am I seeing a dream or a village that I am in an international world of time? In the year 1991, the very first medical mission done by Basis International for Bloran, Ohio, to build the church in Labrador, Mexico. We parked the bus there. My wife, Jaya, started seeing the children, started providing the pediatric services, and everybody was busy. So I asked Norman Beatler, our leader, what I'm supposed to do for five days. So he gave me a pair of scissors and a comb. Norman, what do you want me to do? You're going to work with John to cut the hair of these Mexican children and wash them and give them sour and make them a million dollar man. So this is my first job as a medical mission. <clears throat> the first important lesson I learned from Norman Hitler, the humility is the key ingredient in medical volunteer mission. All our physicians who have come to medical yatra in India have once or twice pick up the medical medicine boxes, take up the room and clean the clinical site and sometimes tolerate very dirty toilets in the villages. I'm very, very proud of our medical community of medical yard. Year 2009, after about 10 years in medical yatra, by accident, I was invited to attend the meeting of medical Rotary Cleveland by Jerry Sarzade and Beverly Gen, and they changed the complete profile of medical yatra. They taught me how to do the global grants of Rotary International. We have done 15 Rotary grants in the last 10 years, invested one and a half million dollars in various sustainable projects. It can be water treatment plants, it can be mobile vans taking the hospital capability to village, to village, to village, to village, or cancer, cervical cancer clinics, and selling the repair machines. Our connection with the Rotary have changed complete perspective about the health situation in India. Medical Yatra really owes its success so they do Rotary Clubs and Rotary International. Because of Rotary, they are connected not only yearly basis, on weekly basis, and sometimes daily basis. Medical data has become a daily, weekly event, and has become more innovative. In conclusion, I want to share with you the quote from Dr. Patricia Gordon, Harvard MD, oncologist, CNN hero, 2021. Dr. Patricia Gordon, CNN Hero, 2021. And I quote, 
I have learned that high-tech solutions are not necessarily the best way to solve medical problems in the low-income, low resource third-world countries. Often, simple solutions such as cryotherapy, cryotherapy, no anesthesia, no hospitalization for pre-malignant survival reasons solve more effectively and more efficiently. I learned a lot of things from Dr. Patricia Gordon. Thank you again, all of you, to listen to the story of hairstylist certified in Mexico to be a Hall of Fame today.